Welcome to our tutorial about deleting records. We've got another button now on my interface, Delete Record. Let's go to our code page and check things out. The delete routine is very similar to the update routine, which we covered in our previous tutorial. The difference is that I've used the delete statement instead of the update statement. Here's an example of an SQL delete statement. It's from my previous tutorial in this course on creating delete statements in SQL. Let's begin by running our application to see how it works. Our page loads. First, let's choose a record to delete. Now let's click Delete Record. I've got confirmation of the change below. I should replace that text with deleted instead of updated. But let's check to see if the record's available in our drop-down list. As you see, it's gone. Now watch what happens if I try to delete record number 3, which I happen to know is linked to another table in the same database. Let's click Delete Record and see what happens. We get an error message. Let's see what Visual Studio has to tell us about it. The delete statement conflicted with the reference constraint. And our statement was terminated, meaning that we weren't able to delete this record. Basically, we can't delete a record that has an external reference to another table. While I'm here, let's replace updated with deleted. And this concludes our tutorial about deleting records.